Hello everyone, today we are going to simplify an expression involving square roots. The problem is the square root of 50 plus the square root of 18 minus the square root of 8. Your answer choices are a7 root 2, b6 root 2, c5 root 2 and d4 root 2. Before we dive in, why don't you give it a try? I'll give you 15 seconds to work on it. Alright, let's break it down step by step and see how you did. Our goal is to simplify this expression as much as possible. Simplifying square roots means we want to break them down into their simplest form, which usually involves factoring. Let's start simplifying square root of 50. To do this, we need to break it down into factors. Specifically, we are looking for one factor that's a perfect square. The number 50 can be written as 25 times 2. And here's a handy rule. When you have a square root of a product like square root of a times b, you can split it as root of a multiplied by root of b. So we can rewrite square root of 50 as the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. Since the square root of 25 is 5, this becomes 5 root 2. Got it? We have simplified the square root of 50 to 5 root 2. Great, let's move on to the square root of 18. 18 can be factored as 9 times 2. Using the same rule, we split it as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. And since the square root of 9 is 3, this becomes 3 root 2. Perfect. Now, let's simplify the square root of 8. The number 8 can be factored as 4 times 2. Using the same rule, we split it as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. Since the square root of 4 is 2, this becomes 2 root 2. Now we can rewrite the original problem with these simplified terms. Next, let's combine the terms. Since all the terms involve root 2, we treat it like a common factor. Imagine adding 5x plus 3x minus 2x, where x is the common factor. That would give you 6x, right? Same idea here. So this becomes 6 root 2. And there you have it. The correct answer is b6 root 2. Wasn't that easy? Now you can simplify square roots like a pro. If you found this helpful, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for more math magic. See you in the next video.